welcome to Flosto number 44. My name is Selina and I live in Salford in the UK. I am Portuguese so bear with me if my English is not perfect. Um, if you can hear any noises, my husband is working from home. The kids are at school. Today is the 11th of January 2022. So first of all, Happy New Year for all of us and hopefully it will be a better year than last year. It wasn't too bad. But anyway, so on this channel usually you can hear me talk about cross stitch, black work, sometimes appears crochet and knitting. On this video I'm going to talk about all of it yeah all of it so if you are stopping on my channel for the first time welcome i hope that you like and you will come back and if you are one of my returning viewers or subscribers thank you so much for being here and supporting this channel we are growing slowly but that's not important if you are one of my viewers and not subscribers i don't mind just um if you want anything that i can't explain very well while i'm doing the video put it on the comments uh, so you can find me on instagram selena bell bell if i'm not mistaken yeah selena bell bell and let's start so i did my last video was at the beginning more or less of december i had a very busy december with the groups we had christmas um buffets christmas dinners and preparing a lot of things that i needed to finish some of them i can show it here because some of them i forget to take some pictures because it it was finished at deadline finishing sending and i couldn't take pictures and some of them and others are still the recipient people <laughs> Still didn't receive it so i can show it and if i remember i will show it later in the channel or on the channel so let's start uh, in december while i was thinking if i was going to do videos or not and i was able to stitch i stitch on linen and threads 2021 it was it was a sal last year and so i still don't have the the end picture if i manage to have some even if it has a shadow i will put it here but this is what you saw last time and i'm working on 28 count pretty in lugana even with on ivory and i'm doing uh, one over one i'm using so this is inspired um on spanish and mexican traditional pottery it's called talavera uh, it still is still it is still on the q snap because i'm going to start working on it and so i managed to put you see 209 stitches so i worked essentially around here and i will explain later why i'm going to work on this one it's not on my rotation regular rotation but i will explain later why it is there so my next project is well it is a finished three finished um so it is this one hopefully i have the pictures and you can see it so 
this is three small um, Christmas decorations that I did for Ricardo stitches and it has black work and some cross stitch on top of the bubbles and I finished I put some cardboard and if anybody wants to know how I did it I I'm still having some to finish and I will do a video or do an explanation how I did it but they love it so that's it so it is three finish that didn't appear on my whip go board on oh, my whip go board on my whip parade and because when I did my whip parade I did my finish I showed all the finish but because it was a gift I didn't show it sorry it is a little bit mixed this video but I will try to to get that so then Christmas came it was lovely and I have a Christmas start so as I said before my Christmas start was this one and it is um, I have here from Owl Forest Embroidery it is uh, from the collection uh, Snail Houses and this is Forget Me Not so you have the flowers and I used everything that came in the kit so I worked uh, on 32 Zweigart Belfast linen I used everything uh, all the threads that came with the kit I did two over two and I managed to put 556 stitches sorry about the needle there so it is the linen it, it is really really nice to work with let me see if I can put something in the back there you go I, I'm going to try to do to get some board and it will be easier to show but now this is what I have sorry because it's not iron so I already start doing the body of the the house so the it's like a palace not the body so goes here and then the snail the head to be here really really enjoying this and because it was a start for christmas i don't have a picture for you to compare oh i don't know if you compare i will put it anyway and then came new year it was lovely uh, a lot of firework I have two dogs I don't have they don't have any problems with that but we had a friend that she has an old dog and she was really 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 scared so that's a lot of firework but that's another thing to discuss that I'm not going to discuss here so my new year start that I wanted to start was this one a rabbit fit uh, by cross stitch I will I will put here uh, the name but I had the fabric but I didn't had all the floss and the floss for me to start in in the corner because I like to start in the top corner um, the left one um, I didn't have the floss to start so because I didn't want to start 
and then I don't like it. So I chose another project. Uh, it was, and it is, um, a DMC kit that I received from Christina. The channel is so it so it stitches. I will put here and I will link down below her channel. She's really lovely and she does videos too. So it is this one from the collection Flower Fairies. And this one is called the Mellow Fairy. And I managed to, oh, and it is 16 count white Ada and I'm doing two over one and I managed to put 524 stitches. So I started on a face and on this kind of, of kit, I start, because it's not full coverage, I start in the middle like the snail house really enjoying so as i said i managed to put 524 stitches i don't have comparison for you to compare the pictures and finally the other project that i worked of uh, cross stitch it, it is on my whipco board and it is one of the numbers that Jessie Marie called. It is the 19th, and mine is um, Rabbit uh, from X Stitch with us. Sorry about the glare. And it was my birthday start uh, 2021, so last year. I didn't have a lot, so. This is what you saw last time. Hopefully I have the picture and I'm pointing and you will see it. And because my goal is 2,500 stitches, at least for this year. And I have already done 224 stitches. And so I'm working on 14 count white Ada and two over one. And I'm doing, and I did 224 stitches, more or less. When I say like this, because I don't use pattern keeper. So sometimes I miss counting one or two stitches, but here it is. So I'm working on this chick. So, I don't know, how can I put this for you to see? And it is on the other way around, but anyway. So, I'm working on this side. So, I already did that green. Hopefully, next time you can see a lot more. Because this one will appear next, next week. And cross stitch it is this uh, so I did some knitting because Ricardo who wanted a beanie or a hat and I finished so it is this one hopefully I have the picture with Ricardo because Ricardo is at school uh, it is 22 past 11 so he is at school and this is the hat that I did. I had some acrylic yarn and I use it. It shows the colors. So I have different colors. I thought he was going to choose a blue, but he chose the red. So it is finished and he's using it. And another thing that I'm doing is the squares. Uh, for this blanket, hopefully, I'm, I managed to have the picture. If, if not, I need to take a, a screenshot from the, the tablet. But 
these blankets so one of my friends did uh, most of the the granny squares if you can call it it's not like a granny square you start with a circle so you start with a circle and then you do like a granny squares the other stitches so she did most of them i need to check all of them because some of them didn't had uh, 12 stitches and i need to have the 12 stitches when i'm going to put all together but because i'm you doing only the the squares with the teddy bear so i already start uh, i did all the the teddies i did all the teddies and i did i think it's missing one mouth um because then you have something you will have well you will see something like this and then i need to embroider the eyes the nose and the mouth and i'm doing another one so hopefully next time you will see more or only a picture showing that i already finished and i gave to the lady that wanted us to do it this is not a commission so she asked as a favor and we are go going to give her she gave all the yarn so it is hers and now blanket um, plans i'm all over the place today so i'm going to keep working on my rabbit on rabbit this one because i need to complete uh, 2500 stitches and i i'm not halfway then i want to because i still didn't find the other one that it was called it is i see you i will put the picture here uh, the the end result i'm going to start working on another whip go project and one of them is this one that you already saw and it is already ready to start working because i need to frog this yellow thing here that it is wrong and on this one i need to put 50 hundred stitches it is my whip go plan or gold so i need to put it so instead of going and being frustrated because i can't find the project i will start working on this one and when it's done it's done if i didn't find the project that i need to work and that's it uh, another thing my plans for this year i have a rotation uh, and then you will see uh, other projects coming along uh, while i'm doing the the projects or my whips that i have for the whip go board and i only I am only going to change project if I do 500 stitches. Of course, this is what I want to do, but if I'm going to be frustrated or if I'm not enjoying, of course I, that I will change the project. But until now is what I want to do. I did that for my christmas start and for my new year start and now i'm going to do for the other that i need <clears throat> pardon that I, I i want to do of course there's some exceptions that it is my small projects i still didn't decide the amount of stitches that i want to do 
every time that they are going to appear at least i know that at least they have they will have 100 stitches but i still don't know if it will be 200 150 or 250 i still don't didn't decide but at least 100 stitches and i i have some starts that i want to start and one of them is rabbit feet because now i have all the the floss but probably is going to be my birthday start for this year i'm saying probably i still don't know and i'm going to start other things for my that that are on my whip go board like hello pumpkin um hello sunshine i'm already doing it hello dear and the other one hello the hello petal so hopefully i will start them i'm still organizing my sauce um I'm not going to talk about that because I don't have the projects and I'm going to do a lot of sales. And <clears throat> I think that's it. Another thing that uh, I don't know, let me see if I have here. Okay. Oh, so the only thing that is missing speaking or talking about is that usually at the end of the videos I teach you a Portuguese word so I don't know if you want me to keep doing it or to stop so the only thing that I can say you now is in Portuguese Happy New Year is Feliz Ano no and it is almost in the same order i will put here so we say feliz ano novo like feliz is happy ano is year and novo is new but because we change the order feliz and novo i will put here it is the same as happy new year okay so feliz ano novo see you next next see you soon <laughs> see you on the next video take care protect yourselves bye stay safe